welcome back my royal rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the royal rogue and tonight we have a controversy of epic proportions regarding tiaras, flowers and much more. But first we have memes and I'm a fan of avocados and I'm the unofficial maqui de guacamole and we all have the experience of uh, preparing the perfect guacamole and then and then when guests arrive maybe it is not in its best shape so there you have it when you just made the guacamole versus when your guests arrive a uh, great analogy so let's begin Richard Eden on Twitter for goodness sake it's not some boho chick country wedding we want bling there are rumors in palace circles that no royal women will wear tiaras. The floral look would be fully in keeping with a coronation that reflects the king's belief in the importance of sustainability and his love of nature. And in the mirror, Kate Middleton, who is Kate Middleton, uh, could ditch tiara for coronation and wear flower crown instead. There has been confusion over whether Kate and senior royal women will wear tiaras into Westminster Abbey before the Queen consort enters the church. The Princess of Wales could break from tradition from the King's coronation and ditch the tiara for something a lot more relaxed. Kate and senior royals have been in a race against time to finalize their fittings for the coronation, with confusion over whether women will wear tiaras into Westminster Abbey before the Queen consort enters the church. At the late Queen's coronation in 1953, senior royals wore tiaras with the Queen Mother wearing a headpiece from the crown she wore at King George VI coronation. The glittering headpieces are usually seen at formal state occasions, but Kate, who often favors the Cambridge lovers, not tiara, could be planning to wear a floral arrangement in her hair instead, reports the Times. If she chooses to ditch, the jewels for petals, it apparently won't be the first time Kate has toyed with the idea of a flower crown. By the way, I'm not an expert on royal matters, but I think these reports are misleading simply by the fact that for an event like this, I don't think Catherine has the power to choose what she's going to wear. Uh, she's going to be told to what to wear. Anyway, you're welcome to correct me if I'm wrong. And I know that you could disregard all of this as just gossip and that some people are throwing these uh, claims around only for, I don't know, confusion or clicks. But I couldn't help but notice that Valentine Lowe is supporting this claim. On Twitter, no tiara for the Princess of Wales at the coronation. But will she wear flowers in her hair? And will there be any tiaras at all? Story in the Times today. He's got a reply from Clarissa Rayleigh. Oh, Val, are you sure? Along with Pierce coronation robes, it will be such a shame if tiaras ditched, in my opinion. The rewears cost nothing, add hugely to the spectacle. It's not a wedding, but a once or twice in a lifetime state occasion, and hoping for all the bells, whistles, and the sparkle. And by the way, I think that's the sentiment of most royalists. Valentine Lowe answers. I am confident that at the moment Kate is not planning to wear a tiara. The exact nature of what she will wear is not clear, but I'm sure I am on the right track. Always possible that she changes her mind, of course. Uh, well, this is all very upsetting because, uh, well, we know that Valentine Lowe should be well informed about these affairs, and if he has heard something, um, well, uh, but. Everyone is discussing tiaras and flowers, but nobody's talking about Meghan missing out on wearing the traditional sausages crown. Made with the finest sausages of the United Kingdom, its beauty resides on its impermanence, as you can imagine that it can be worn only once, and then later it is put on a royal bonfire. The crown, not Meghan. It's just a barbecue, but don't tell anyone. The royal bonfire sounds much more sophisticated. And you're supposed to not wash your hair for seven days after wearing it, although I don't think Meghan had any problem with that part of the contract. But no, seriously, this has gained some uh, traction and people are a bit triggered over this. This is the piece on the Times. Princess of Wales may wear flowers in her hair to King's coronation. The decision to go for, for the floral look will be fully in keeping with a coronation that reflects King Charles' belief in the importance of sustainability and his love of nature. 
that has already been seen in the invitations, which feature flowers, birds, insects, and the green man. Other touches include the king's decision to reuse old thrones rather than having new ones made, as would have been traditional. Well, in my opinion, that's a great move, especially because reusing the old thrones is a way to honor history and tradition. It is a bit paradoxical that the tradition says that you have to make a new throne. It is also thought that the floral displays in the abbey will be sustainable using flowers from Britain rather than anything flown in from overseas. Yeah, the amount of overseas stuff will be heavily limited. And by the way, uh, for some reason, in the words of Lady Doy, Harry is refusing to share his London plans with the palace, presumably just to be thorny and keep them guessing. Well, how on earth are they supposed to organize coronation transport for him if they don't know where he is staying? Honestly, he's just a petulant little man-child. Well, let's go back to Tierra Gate. It is not known exactly what form the Princess of Wales floral headwear will take, although a crown of flowers has been one suggestion. Kensington Palace refused to comment or to confirm that she would not be wearing a tiara. However, if she does wear something natural in her hair instead of her fa favorite Cambridge lover's not tiara, it could introduce an unexpectedly hippish tone into a service that is the height of formal royal ceremony. Hugo Vickers, the author of many royal biographies, said, considering that a coronation is the most important state occasion in a reign, it would be disappointed to do less that than at a state banquet. But I guess they want the entire focus on the king and queen. And we got many reactions to this. According to Taz, surely this can't be true. If ever there was a time for tiaras and coronets, it's the coronation. Julie Schmidt, this is so sad if it's true. The jewelry, tiaras and dresses are the biggest part. We don't do tiaras here in the US and that's why we watch. I'm worried the coronation will be dull as dishwater. Does it really cost more to have everyone wear a tiara? Glenn Atherton, folk don't want a cut price event. This for many will be their final coronation. It should be huge. All the pomp and splendor, the crown jewels being used and all the robes on the royals and peers. The streets need to be lined with flags. We want epic. Patty Turney, we want pomp and pageantry, not a bunch of hippies. Or my favorite comment, Madame Defarge, it, is it the coronation or Glastonbury? And other observations like Kate Princess of Wales fan, a thought on the last speculations about Catherine wearing flowers instead of a tiara for the coronation. I don't really think this could be true. She was not allowed to wear flowers at her wedding, as it was the heir's wife. Why on earth she would wear it for a coronation? Tries Britannia with reports that I don't quite believe that Catherine, Princess of Wales, won't be wearing a tiara to the coronation. I can't help but think of Christine Day in The Phantom of the Opera. Uh, these diamond clips were popular hair ornaments and could be worn as a tiara or necklace. As usual, I would love to know what do you think about this in the comments. My wonderful 110,000 royal roadies, plus the 400,000 who haven't subscribed yet, I love you all. Remember to like this video and the most important words, much love and bliss.